it's a an opportunity for people to get rid of what they don't want don't need and it's safe it's anonymous and it gives everybody an opportunity to um, safely dispose of it without damaging the environment or endangering other persons. Well, in St. Louis County, um, in 2018 specifically, we saw a nearly 25% increase in opioid overdose deaths. And unfortunately, the rest of the country saw a decrease of about 5% according to the CDC. So we still have a little bit of work to do. Um, nationwide in 2018, there was a survey done that demonstrated 9.9 .9 million people in America had misused a prescription medication in the last year. Now, those people tend to get them from friends and family and very often right there in the home from the drug cabinet. It's been a very successful program that allows people to turn in prescription drugs that are unwanted, unused, um, or expired. And it's anonymous. The, per the people can simply take it to locations that where they're being collected, place them in boxes, no questions asked. We're not looking at the pill bottles. We don't care what the drug is or who's taking it. Um, so you can bring them out, totally anonymous, completely free, and then they're properly disposed of. An easy way for people to find out where the nearest location is for them to dispose of these prescription drugs or vaping devices is to go to takebackday.dea.gov. They can type in their zip code and that provides a nearby location for them.